Hello, everyone, and welcome to Channel 781 Headlines. The Waltham Housing Authority may lose about $300,000 in state grant money next year because of Waltham's failure to comply with the state's MBTA communities law, according to a Boston Globe article published this week. The law was passed last year and requires cities and towns that are on the T to change their zoning to allow for denser housing near the T or forfeit state grant money. Waltham is one of eight communities that missed the deadline to submit a document to the state explaining how we plan to implement it, so state officials sent out warning letters to housing authorities that could be affected. Waltham Housing Authority's executive director told the Globe the loss will have a significant impact on vulnerable residents who may need to go without repairs. The Globe said no other Waltham officials got back to them. You may remember we've discussed the new law on our debrief show, and back in January, former city councilor Mackin told us some communities were thinking of ignoring the law and simply accepting the losses. Complying with the law would require action by the city council, and as far as we know, it has not been discussed in any of their public meetings so far this year, so we'll continue to keep an eye on that. Residents of Waltham and Lexington have mounted an effort to stop a plan to build a solar power plant in Lexington on the Waltham line, which would involve clearing a large number of trees near the Cambridge Reservoir. An NECN story featured residents who were asking the Lexington Gow government to stop the project or make changes to protect trees. However, as we've discussed on our show, Waltham's government already made an effort to block this project and was sued and lost, so it's not clear what leverage like Lexington has. In this week's city council meeting, State Senator Michael Barrett joined for a lengthy discussion of the changes MBTA plans to make to bus lines in Waltham as part of their Better Bus program. We'll be discussing that on our debrief show, and we'll have Tom Benavides from Critical Mass. That'll be the next thing we post, so stay tuned. Thank you.